What's up everybody, Josh at Evoke Bike here, and we're talking cross. We're still talking cross. Uh, this is gonna be block three to cyclocross racing. Um, maybe this will be the final block, unless other people have other factors they wanna talk about, but on this block, we're talking about you're in the season. Block one, uh, we had an intro, we had block one, which was, you know, like two months out, block two, which was your FRC, your PMAX, your specific race prep going into the season. Now we got block three where you are in the season, cross is no longer coming, cross has arrived. Uh, you're racing every weekend, um, and what should you do now? What should you be focusing on? So I can, it's, it's, fairly simple i think my number one thing you should be focusing on during cross season rest and recovery uh cross races are super difficult you're going super deep and there are so many other even outside of the racing you you got you're cleaning your bikes you have you're traveling you're probably gonna break some equipment so you're going to the bike shop you're fixing stuff yourself um, you're again cleaning pretty much everything. Uh, I guess depending on where you're racing, but and depending on the season, there's supposed to be muddy seasons where it's like every race you're changing brake pads. Uh, you may be changing bar tape. There's a bunch of stuff, but it's you're adding all this extra fatigue during the season. Um, outside of the training, uh, you still should be doing some training, and we will touch on that. And I'll give you like an example week for what I give a lot of my athletes. But yeah. There, there really isn't too much that you can you can do um, during the season. Well, I take that back. There are things that you that you definitely can do, but you've done all the hard work. Um, you should be focusing now on being you know rested and recovered going into the races, and then changing gears. You know, cleaning everything, being good to go for the next weekend. So for specific workouts. A lot of it follows what you were doing on block two, focusing on some PMAX stuff, doing your sprints, um, getting getting ready, keeping that you know that that top end good to go for during the races, doing your FRC work, doing that repeatability, uh, that max power for longer durations than PMAX, but say 30 seconds to a minute and a half. And then as the season progresses, just keep track, do a little self-evaluation. How is the season going? What am I falling behind on? What am I doing really well on? What do I need to work on? Um, if you have a specific race you're building towards and you're like, hey, you know, my my PMAX, I'm getting dropped on the on the the start, I'm having an issue there, or that that aerobic endurance later in the seat in the in the races is I'm really falling off. Like you can start to build that early on. Like, okay, I didn't I didn't stress this enough going into the season. So this is what I'm gonna focus on during the season, building towards my A race. And if you don't have an A race, then just see like race to race. It could be, it might not even be anything specific to like, you know, Watt or PMAX, FRC, FDP, any of those things. It could be skills, which is probably going to be the number one thing. Where are you losing time on all these races? Is it your cornering? Are you just, you know, hitting the barriers every time? You need to work on your dismounts, your remounts. Um, maybe you're missing the saddle on all of your remounts and like you're landing on the tire and it hurts and hey, work on some remounts. What you can also tailor your training sessions um, every week towards what is your upcoming race. If you are, well, let's talk about a let's talk about a basic week here. So, let's say you're in the season, you're racing Saturday, Sunday, Monday. What are you doing? I would say that's probably a. I would make that a recovery day. I would take an off day, maybe active recovery, spin around for an hour, but. You probably don't have time for that. You're probably cleaning, you need to clean your bike. Maybe it's a travel day. Um, so yeah, I would probably make that active recovery, take take an off day. Tuesday, maybe you've raced, if you've raced both days and you've gone super deep, you probably need another day. Maybe start the day off with an easy run. Maybe do another active recovery ride. Maybe you still need to clean all your things from the weekend. Um, and you can spend this time too, like planning for the next weekend. Wednesday, this is like, this is the midweek, right? So this should be your day where if you are doing intervals or if you are gonna go hard, this is your day to do it. So this is typically where people have like cross practice. So go out to your local cross practice, do, if you're you're, you're tailoring your, your workouts to what's coming to that next weekend, talk to your friends, see what the race is like, do some research on your own. Like is there, there's this punchy 30 second climb every lap. Do some 30 second efforts. Uh, you have to get off and you have to run this 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 climb every lap. 
Work on that, work on shouldering, work on pushing the bike, work on remounting fast at the top of this climb. Going into this climb, shifting gears, just getting used to that muscle memory so you know like physically I can do this and mentally I'm prepared for when I'm super deep and you're at 180, 190 BPM, you're at max heart rate. I know how to do these things. And um, as I fatigue again throughout the race, like it's just, you keep, you go into that that, that zone, it's just automatic. Um, so yeah, those are things you can work on on Wednesday, Thursday. I like to make Thursday more of like a skills day. Like it's still, it's an easy day. Um, but this is a day we can work on just all the skills you've been working on, dismounts, remounts, corners, um, but more like, a, like an active recovery pace. Friday, openers, travel day, active recovery day. Don't stress too much if it is a travel day. Um, just just worry on just worry about making sure the bike is operational so if you don't ride on friday i would still get out i tell all my athletes spin the bike a little bit if you get to the hotel or you get to your buddy's house your airbnb or or whatever if you're traveling i guess if you're not traveling and it's a local race and do your do your openers on friday if you are traveling then i would make sure when you take the bike off of your you know if it's in your trunk or on your bike rack or wherever it is um, or maybe you ship the bike, make sure the bike is operational. So when you wake up on Saturday morning or it's it's good to go. Okay, so that's kind of like, uh, that's your week. Then you race on Saturday, Sunday. Um, there's a bunch of other things there. Make sure you get recovery, nutrition, hydration, all that stuff. But um, something else for planning your season, and this is something I touched on in an earlier video on the intro video, was building in some time during the season to get some to do some aerobic endurance work because if you're racing say like i got i don't even know how many races i'm doing but like i'm booked all through september uh i have a lot of races in in october as well but i do have some weekends when i know okay hey i'm not going to be racing i'm going to take a break from that high-end power from those those aerobic efforts or those anaerobic efforts and i'm going to work on my aerobic system i'm going to take a weekend and do just a couple long rides maybe friday saturday sunday four or five hours uh, building that aerobic endurance back because you don't get that uh, during during the cross season and, and it's a long season especially if you're racing from September through December maybe in the US if you're doing nationals um, or whatever your goals are or whenever you're going to shut it down it still is a long season so find some time build some time in that season to do some longer rides because you you lose that endurance because um, there just isn't time and you don't have you don't have that fatigue uh, or I guess you're getting your fatigue in other areas is what I'm trying to say. So this is a good time to get some fatigue from some duration where it's not the intensity, you're building that TSS, you're uh, getting those KJs from from the duration of the ride. And maybe this is a good time to go spin with, go, go spin with your buddies too. You've neglected your non-cross friends, your roadies, your roadie buddies who have been you know, they didn't listen to you that cross was coming and now they're just riding their road bikes. They're enjoy enjoying those fall rides. This is your opportunity to go ride with them, uh, which is always nice. And then the other thing is daylight savings time happens during cross season. So, and daylight savings time affects people in different ways. So if you're training in the evenings, you're gonna lose, you're gonna lose that light. Um, maybe you, you gain some time, you do gain light in the morning. If you're, if you're doing your cross practice in the morning or your whatever, maybe you're transitioning to some indoor sessions, which I think again, if you have a break in your cross season, or maybe you don't have that Wednesday night, um, that cross practice skills definitely you need to work on. But if you wanted to get some intensity for a lot of my athletes, I'll give them like those shorter Zwift races, maybe like a, a crit city race, um, where you get in like, or like that extended crit city race was like a 40 minute race, which I think is a really good race to get some intensity during the week on like a Wednesday night. Um, but again, I wouldn't do too much going into the races. There are so many variables here. So yeah, this is in season. And um, again, like I started off the video, focus on recovery and rest. That should be number one because these races are so tough. Make sure your your equipment is all dialed when you're traveling to these races. And, and then yeah, just be ready to go and have some fun because cross is amazing. So yeah, a lot here. I hope this was beneficial. Shoot me an email, josh at evoke.bike. If you guys have any questions about other facets and um, you know specifics of the cross season and what you what you can or maybe maybe you shouldn't be doing or what works for you, you know, I'd love to hear about it and I'm sure other people will find it super beneficial. So yeah, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and uh, and yeah, cross is here. Enjoy. Bye.